the Lunar and Planetary Laboratory at the University of Arizona has been busy piecing together a fascinating puzzle about Mars. They've used spacecraft photos and ground-penetrating radar data to create 3D maps of lava flows on Mars, specifically in an area called Elysium Planitia. What they found is pretty mind-blowing. Turns out, lava was flowing on Mars as recently as a million years ago. That's not that long ago in geological terms. Join us on the cosmic journey, mind-blowing discovery, signs of life and water on Mars space news today. Picture this, over 40 volcanic episodes, where lava oozed through cracks on Mars, covering an area roughly the size of Alaska. The largest of these volcanic events filled a Martian valley named Athabasca Valleys with nearly 1,000 cubic miles, or 4,168 cubic kilometers, of basalt. To put it in simpler terms, it's a massive amount of lava. This discovery challenges what we thought about Mars being geologically dormant. This revelation about Elysium Planitia being more volcanically active than we believed has potential implications for the possibility of life on Mars. Joan Voigt, a scientist from the Lunar and Planetary Laboratory, points out that areas like Elysium Planitia, once considered boring and featureless, are turning out to be rich sources of information about how they formed. Here's a little background, Mars doesn't have plate tectonics like Earth. Plate tectonics are responsible for shifting and resurfacing pieces of Earth's crust, leading to volcanic activity. Because Mars lacks this, it was often dubbed a dead planet in geological terms. However, recent discoveries, including Mars quakes recorded by NASA's InSight lander, suggest that Mars might not be as dormant as we once thought. Now, let's talk about the 3D mapping process. The Lunar and Planetary Laboratory team combined images from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, and used ground-penetrating radar data from NASA's shallow radar, SHERUD, probe. By doing this, they created a detailed 3D model, looking about 460 feet, 140 meters, into Mars' crust, giving us a snapshot before lava erupted from the fissures. Christopher Hamilton, a scientist from the same lab, describes this study as the most comprehensive account of recent volcanism on a planet other than Earth. It covers about 120 million years, roughly the time when dinosaurs roamed Earth. This contradicts the notion that Mars has been geologically quiet for much longer. Why does this matter? Water is crucial for life as we know it, and scientists believe that, in the past, Mars had flowing water on its surface. Elysium Planitia was likely flooded by large amounts of liquid water, and when lava interacted with this water or ice, it shaped the landscape dramatically. The researchers even found evidence of steam explosions where water met lava. Understanding how water moved across Mars in the past could be useful for future missions. Equatorial regions like Elysium Planitia are easier to land on, and knowing about potential water sources, even beneath the surface, could help astronauts on future missions. The team plans to continue studying Elysium Planitia, using various imaging methods to uncover more about Mars' volcanic history. Voigt emphasizes the importance of paying attention to lava surfaces to piece together the different eruption events, and reconstruct the entire volcanic history. It's like reading a book that Mars has been patiently waiting to share with us. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, Science.